me see your right hand. I can't see what you're doing. Donc l'Orchestre de Chambre de Paris a initié encore cette année une euh, académie dédiée à la technique du jouet dirigé avec quatre jeunes pianistes. On a pensé ce programme en collaboration avec Steinway euh, pour euh, la sélection de jeunes euh, solistes de niveau international qui ont pendant une semaine bénéficié de masterclass avec des très grands pianistes. Ils ont eu droit à deux jours de répétition avec, euh, avec l'Orchestre de Chambre de Paris et Déborah Nemtanou pour se former à cette technique de jouet dirigé. Well, the four young musicians I worked with today all could play very well. Some, I think, have more instinctive way of expressing themselves with their hands and their head and everything. And I tried to tell them that even conducting from the keyboard, you're still conducting and not to be shy and to give an orchestra something, give them inspiration. Next days, I expect to dig deeper into the art of conducting as much as possible in a, in a short course. And I expect each teacher to tell me hopefully their secrets, their small uh, secrets that they gained through experience and through a, a, a lot of, of work. Yes, this. I don't hear this terrarum pump either. Yeah. It's very interesting and it's a great uh, opportunity for young pianists to rehearse with the orchestra, to play with the orchestra. Uh, so that's very special, I think. And I watched the orchestra today, how they watched the pianists play. Given the fact that it's a professional orchestra, they don't have to do it, but they obviously want to do it. And to have so much devotion to supporting young pianists is really amazing and for me the first time that I saw that in the world. I have learned so much already from Mr. Kovacevic. Uh, there are many aspects. Uh, for example, musically speaking, he was very detailed and uh, he also taught us about small things in conducting, actually very important things, but um, gestures that we won't ever think of uh, as a soloist. It's like you are two people. Here is the chef d'orchestre, here is the soloist. Okay. Vous entendez l'orchestre ouais. Vous savourez cet, cet accord Oui. Et, et vous savez exactement quelle sonorité vous voulez mettre dessus avec votre piano On a eu vraiment beaucoup de chance d'avoir deux répétitions avec l'Orchestre de Chambre de Paris. Deux répétitions passionnantes, une entourée avec Pascal Roffet, donc plus sur l'aspect de la direction et de l'écoute avec l'orchestre. Et puis ce matin, on était avec Momo Kodama pour davantage d'interactions entre le, le piano et et, et l'orchestre. Je pense qu'après tout le travail qui a été fait, c'est juste, il faut prendre plaisir. Et je pense que la musique de Beethoven va vraiment nous donner beaucoup, beaucoup de plaisir. We had a lot of different people giving different opinions, which means that sometimes uh, the opinions were exactly the opposite. After you get all these opinions, you really can find what you feel closest to you, and you have the right to make a decision. And We're at that point now because the concert is tomorrow um, and today was the last rehearsal, big one, tomorrow we have dress rehearsal and yes, it's uh, all the time getting more and more exciting with every day and I hope tomorrow will be great. <laughs> Grand prix du jury pour l'Académie de Direction d'Orchestre de Chambre de, 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 de Paris a été décerné à Madame Rachel Chen. I had so much um, inspirations from this fantastic orchestra, and as well as um, so many musicians and uh, mentors that I have had um, in this academy.